it's time for Let's Talk Authors. Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms of Buddy. Today is Let's Talk Authors. And I decided to talk about Colleen Hoover. Um, as I've said before, it has taken me uh, a long time to even get to Colleen Hoover books because she was so hyped up back in like 2012, 2013. I, I feel like everybody was reading Colleen Hoover. And I don't like to jump on that train, that bandwagon, until the hype is like down you know what I mean I don't want to be disappointed by an author or by a book so I just let the hype you know just simmer down a little bit and maybe not this much later but here it is 2022 and I've now just started reading Colleen Hoover so a little bit about Colleen Hoover her debut novel was slammed which came out in I want to say January of 2012 and then right after that the next month uh, the second book came out point of retreat I think it was called and um, they just climbed the charts and then the following year this girl which is the third book to that series came out and she just had something going and so now with every book she writes she just engages the readers and you just you can't help but like Colleen Hoover it's just that her writing is is like super smooth and poetic and I don't know, almost airy and whimsical feeling for me I don't know I just I open a book and I just don't put it down it, that's just that's just the way it works and I never would have thought myself to be a fan of Colleen Hoover I just you know I didn't tend to go in that direction that genre of books and I like to say she's contemporary romance a lot of people to say no she's just romance you know whatever but I, I feel like there's um, aspects of contemporary and definitely romance and she she branches out and she does some thrillers and mystery um, storytelling and she just she has a way with words um, so I'm going to show you the books that I've got I've got several books of hers but I have a lot more to get and I probably will eventually buy them. So I'm going to go through the books that I have. And then I'll go through the ones that I've read. I've read three of her books. So I have a lot more of hers to read. But I don't find that daunting. Because I love the way she writes. So let's get to the books that I have of Colleen Hoover's. Okay, the first one we got here is Never Never. This copy that I got is three different stories in one. Um, it's the whole series in here. They're not, obviously, they're not big stories, but I don't know. Let me tell you about this font. It goes from top to bottom, and it's tiny. So it could take a while to read this one, but that is some small font on there. Um, I picked this one up because I think I remember reading the synopsis online somewhere, and it was talking about a boy and a girl who are in love, and then they're not in love. And they're trying to figure out what happened or some something along those lines. I'm not for sure. But I'm looking forward to reading this one. And we will see how this one goes. The next one we got here is Regretting You. I really like the cover of this one. The next one here is Heartbones. And this next one is going to be in an upcoming um, book haul, but I'm going to spoil it already. And it's All Your Perfects. This one I believe I got from, I think it was Second Sale. It's another used, new and used bookstore online that you can get really great deals on books. Um, but they, like I said, they have new books and then they have used books. Okay, and then the three books that I've read by Colleen Hoover. November 9. This is probably my favorite of the three that I read. Um, it's got a really great twist in it. So you've got Fallon and Ben, and Ben is an aspiring novelist, and um, Fallon only has her dad. But anyway, just to make this quick, they meet on the same day every year, and that is November 9. 
and it has to do with something that happened in the story and the twist in this is fantastic i'm sure everybody's probably already read november 9 but <laughs> there you go this one i have read reminders of him another really really good story this one this woman goes um to jail for um kind of a hit and run she uh didn't think she was running but it was her boyfriend anyway she went to jail she ended up having a daughter and she's four years old and she wants to reconnect with her but the parents of dad won't let her and then she meets this guy ledger who is actually very close to her daughter and um so she uses goes by way of him to try to reconnect with her daughter it's a very touching story, very good. I loved everything about this book as well. The last one I read <laughs> is Verity. And I don't know if y'all have seen my book review of this one, but I loved the story. We'll start with that. I absolutely loved the story. This is Colleen Hoover's Thriller. And I love the thriller aspects and the creepiness and all those good things. But when I came to the end, I wanted closure and I didn't feel like there was closure. And I feel like the author just wants readers to choose their ending. I don't want to do that. I didn't write the book. I want you to tell me what happens and give me closure on a story. I've not rated this book and I probably won't rate this book because if you could rate this book without the ending, it'd probably be about a four and a half star rating. You throw the ending in there and it just disrupts all of that and it would knock it way down and I don't want to do that. I don't want to rate it something that's unfair for something the author tried to do. So as of right now, this is not rated. I did write a small review on it. I just wish the ending had been finished. It doesn't feel finished. And I don't feel closure for that because, and there was more than just that part of the ending that I just, I didn't agree with. There was a couple of other points, but I'm not going to get into that because even my review is not a spoiler review. So I just, I can't put a rating on it. I love the book. Like I said, I loved it. I think the thriller aspects were fantastic in this book and it just kept me glued to the pages and then I was smackered right in the face with that ending and I just it didn't do anything for me so yeah anyway guys that those are the Colleen Hoover books that I have and if you've not read Colleen Hoover you need to pick one up if you like contemporary romance or romance or even just contemporary then you should try Colleen Hoover um, if you've read Colleen Hoover or read any of these books that I showed you today, comment down below and we will talk about it. Thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.